Martin. Let's get in, Geeta, with those updates there. Geeta, uh, what does this effectively mean? Of course, Pakistan government having put him in house arrest. Many have called it preventive detention here as well. But you now have the Lahore High Court stepping in and questioning the government's move. Right. Uh, Hafiz Saeed had filed an application with the Lahore court uh, asking for reasons as to why he should be under house arrest when he, uh, as admitted by the Pakistani government in the past, has been, uh, has been, uh, has been working for the betterment, uh, so-called betterment of the Pakistani society. And that's the, that's the reason why he's challenged uh, the decision of the Punjab government and the federal government. Now, the decision that has come, these are the details that are Emerging from the court in Lahore, that uh, the Lahore court has entertained Hafiz Saeed's application and now has sought details of explanation as to why was Hafiz Saeed and his uh, his other members of his group been put under house arrest. Uh, the explanation has been sought and notices have been sent to the Punjab government and to the federal government on this very crucial issue where uh, Chaudhry Nisar Ali Khan, uh, the Home Minister, had ensured that Hafiz Saeed and four other uh, were listed uh, in the Anti-Terror Act of uh, Pakistan and in enlisting uh, these, these people of the JUD in, uh, under the Anti-Terror Act. Absolutely. We have to leave it there. We're absolutely out of time, Geeta. But thank you very much for joining us at Reply. Of course, it will be very interesting given the fact that will Pakistan finally acknowledge what India has been saying along that Hafiz Saeed is an international terrorist? Is that's that going right. to be the reason they'll give? Well, that's something we'll, we'll update our viewers as soon as it comes in. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks for being with us. It's a wrap on the show.